Hi, I'm David Abrams, and today we'll walk through using Patterns Mobile and Calman to calibrate an iPad equipped with fine-tuned calibration. First, launch Patterns on your iPad if you haven't already. I'd recommend turning on Do Not Disturb so that any notifications won't affect the readings. Next, launch Calman. To load the Patterns Calibration workflow, navigate to the Calman menu, down to Open Workflow Template, to Calibration, and Patterns Calibration. From the Monitor Type menu, choose Apple with Fine Tune Calibration. Set Guidance to Off. We'll click Next. Now, we'll connect Patterns as a source and display in Calman. To do so, click Connect to Patterns. This connects Patterns as both the pattern generator and the display, allowing Calman to change the color space target and the pattern being generated. If Patterns and Calman are on the same network, Patterns will be auto-discovered by Calman. For the purpose of this calibration, we'll set the pattern size to full 100%. Next, we'll click on Initialize Patterns to get both Calman and Patterns in the same mode. Next, we'll want to connect our meter to Calman if it's not already. Press Find Meter, Search, and connect to your meter. And lastly, we'll want to set the iPad Pro to Reference Mode by navigating to Settings, Display and Brightness, scroll down to Reference Mode, and turn Reference Mode on. If you happen to have a fine-tuned calibration loaded, it's a good time to restore the defaults at this point. Let's swipe back to Patterns and click Next. At this point, we'll want to set our calibration target and our Patterns color space to the most used target. We'll set our Patterns color space to Tone Mapped HDR P3 at ST2084, our Calman target information to color space DCI P3, White Point D65, and our EOTF to ST2084 HDRPQ. Before we move forward, let's set our meter on our alignment pattern. Click Next. And let's do a pre-calibration capture by hitting Read Series in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, the results are pretty good, but there's room for improvement. Let's click Next and move on to our next phase. Here, we're going to perform our fine-tuned calibration. When performing a fine-tuned calibration, it is most common to measure white and other values recorded. However, if you find that post-calibration, the grayscale shifts throughout, you may want to find an average X and Y target to achieve the best overall result. For now, let's measure white. As you can see, our iPad measures X, 0 0.3107, and Y, 0 0.3272. We'll want to go back to our iPad and swipe over to our settings, scroll down to display and brightness, scroll to fine tune calibration, and I'm going to move my C6 here just so I can see what I'm entering. Click on measured, enter in X, 0 0.3107, in the white point for Y, enter 0.3272, and in luminance, we'll put 933.59 nits. Now for our target, we're going to enter the white point for exit, 0.3127, the white point for Y at 0.3290, and our target luminance will want to hit 1,000 nits. However, what you'll probably find is once I start entering into this value, the iPad is telling me my range is from 850.9 to 998.9 nits. So let's target 998.9 nits and press Done. We've now entered in our fine-tuned calibration numbers. We'll swipe back to Patterns. I'm going to put up my alignment pattern and replace my C6. Let's click Next. For our validation targets, 
I'm going to use the same ones as our pre-calibration measurements. However, if you wish to test other color spaces, you may adjust the target information and patterns color space here. It's important that both Calman and patterns are set to the same color space target, regardless of which one you're validating. Click Next. Now let's press Read Series in the bottom right hand corner and do our validation measurement. The calibration is now complete, but if you wish to restart the process, save out your data, or perform additional validations, you may do so at this time. Now there is a misconception that the iPad is locked into the P3 color space and unable to be altered. However, it is important to remember that iOS and iPadOS are color managed systems, and as such, the system is managing the signal to the display. We've just validated a tone mapped HDR P3 at ST2084 source, but now let's take a look at an HDTV video, BT709, at 2.4 source. To do so, let's click on our validation targets page in our workflow. And we're going to change our patterns color space from tone mapped HDR to HDTV video BT709 at 2.4. We'll then change our Calman targets to Rec709 sRGB, white point, custom 0 0.3127, 0.3290, so D65, and EOTF we will change to power and 2.4. Let's click Next, go up to our history, add a new history, and this will be our history for Rec. 709 at 2.4. Hit Read Series. As you can see, the iPad Pro settings have not changed, but the content has, and the system's color manager has adapted to the change and mapped our BT709 content into the color space of the display. And that brings us to the end of our tutorial. I hope that you've enjoyed learning about using Patterns Mobile and Calman to calibrate reference mode on iPad OS. For further questions, please reach out to support at portrait.com. Thank you.